Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in today's episode of The Complete Picture, we're going to take a look at how we could add multiple filters to a single layer and have each one of those filters have its own layer mask. So in this example, what I might want to do is I might want to add some sharpening to the face of the watch, but then I might want to blur the band. Now if I wanted to do this in Lightroom, certainly we could use our adjustment brush and go in and selectively make changes. For example, to clarity, I could lower that to add a little bit of a softening. And then I could add another point and use the sharpness slider in order to add some sharpness to another area. But if we want to get a little bit more creative or if we wanted to add maybe an artistic filter, then we're really better off doing this in Photoshop. So I'm going to right mouse click on the image and I'm going to choose to edit in Photoshop, but I'm going to open this as a smart object because that's going to give me a little bit extra flexibility. In addition, it's going to allow me to add a filter as a smart filter. So we'll begin by going to Filter, and we'll add some sharpening first. Now, we do have the ability to add Smart Sharpen or Unsharp Mask, but another technique that I like is actually using the High Pass filter. So I'll select High Pass, and what Photoshop is doing is it's looking at edge areas and it's adding contrast on either side of the edge, making one side of the edge darker and the other side of the edge lighter, which is exactly what filters like the Unsharp Mask do. But what it's done is it's also given me kind of this almost solarized look in the areas that don't have a lot of contrast. Well, I'm going to lower down the radius here, but it's hard to tell how much of a radius I need unless I zoom in to 100%. So that's my first move is to zoom into 100% and then reposition this. I'm just holding down the space bar in order to move the watch around. And then I'll click OK because what I also need to do is I need to get rid of all of that gray area that's not being sharpened. And the way you do that is by clicking on the small icons next to the name of the filter. And you can see here how just because this was a smart object, adding high pass added it as a smart filter and we've got a mask here. But first we need to click here, just double click to bring up your blending options and I'm going to change this to either overlay or to soft light. You can see soft light is a little bit more mild than overlay. Overlay adds a little bit more contrast. So in this case, I'm going to keep it to soft light and click OK. Now one of the benefits of applying a smart filter, of course, is that I can toggle on and off that filter to see what it would look like. And by double clicking on the name of the filter, we could go in here and change the radius of this filter at any time. So even if I save this as a Photoshop or TIFF file and I open it up maybe tomorrow or next week, I can make changes here. So I need to use the Smart Filter Mask here in order to hide the filter in the watch band. So let's zoom out. I'm going to use Command-0 in order to fit in window, and I'll tap the B key in order to get a large brush, and hold down Control and Option and just drag left and right to get a larger or smaller brush, and then drag up or down to get a harder or softer edge brush. And once I've got that the way I want it, I'll just paint in the areas that I want to hide that filter. And we can see here, if I option click on the Smart Filter Mask, I'm hiding the filter so that it doesn't appear in the band. Now, I know this might be difficult to see on screen, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a more painterly filter so that you can really see what it is that I'm doing. Now, in order to do that, I need to go to Image Mode and change this to 8 bits a channel because in 16 bit, a lot of the filters here, especially the filters such as the filter gallery, they're not going to be active. So I need to change it to 8 bit in order to enable those. So as you can see here, if I wanted to add the diffuse glow filter, I would select it under the distort area. And the glow amount is a little bit too much, so let's back off on the glow as well as the clear. But what I want to point out is that we're seeing this filter here over the entire image, yet when I click OK, because we've got this smart filter mask, the filter is only appearing in the watch face. And sure enough, if I hold down the Shift key and click in the mask, we can temporarily disable the mask, and we can see with and without that mask. Now it looks like I also need to just use my paintbrush for a moment and paint on that mask to make sure that we're not seeing that in the corners. 
Okay, so that's how you would add a smart filter or multiple smart filters to a single smart object and use the mask to hide or show those filters. But what if I wanted to add another filter or what if I wanted this, this filter gallery to appear in the watch band as opposed to the face? You'll notice that both filters share the same mask. So here's the trick. All you need to do is right mouse click on the smart object and just convert that to a smart object. Now it may sound odd, but what I'm doing is I'm basically nesting one smart object inside another. And of course it looks like the filters have disappeared, but they haven't. You can access the filters by just double clicking on the icon, the thumbnail icon here in the layers panel, or by choosing layer and then smart objects and edit the contents. When you select that, you'll notice that Photoshop will open up the contents of that smart object in a new window. Right, so here's the, the original one and then here are the, the contents of the smart object and I know that because it also says PSB up here under the file name and here we have access to these. So if I did want to turn off, say, the filter gallery, I always have access to that, I always have access to the mask and then we would just use a quick Command S or Control S to save this and then Command or Control W in order to close the contents of the smart object that we were editing. Okay, so now what we're seeing is just the sharpening because I turned off that filter. Well, because this is its own smart object, we can now add another filter. So let's go up here and let's add something really simple like maybe the oil paint filter. Well, the oil paint filter is going to be applied over this entire smart object, but look, because it's a smart object and we added a smart filter, we've got our mask here. So if I want to grab my paintbrush again and simply click and drag and paint here with the black inside the, the face of the watch, you can see I'm now restricting the oil paint so that it only shows up in the band and the background and not the watch face. So that's how you would create a single layer document, a smart object that has more than one smart filter, each with their own mask. I'm Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.